Hi, this is Dan Sheffield, and we're continuing with our Teacher's Resources Tour. This uh, is about becoming familiar with the courses. Now, first, I want you to notice the brown bar at the top. This is uh, what pops up once um, the managed students and managed classes is selected by the site administrator. So this is the bar that the teacher can work with to um, perform several tasks. Our courses are designed to make learning fun, and we do a great job of that. Our objective is to develop a love of learning. Our system is easy to use, and we make learning easy so students can quickly learn the material and be ready to move on to more challenging lessons. We use a wide variety of media and methods to appeal learners of different learning styles and abilities. Key to our system is our superstar motivational and data tracking system. So let me show you a little bit of that. Welcome to the Phonics 1A Superstar page. On this page, you can see how many silver and... So the idea here is that students will earn a star every time they complete one of the activities. If they complete an activity without any mistakes, they'll earn a gold star. And if they complete an activity and make mistakes, then they'll usually earn a silver star. Now some of the activities are songs and they just complete the activity to earn their gold star. Then the objective of the program is to get all gold stars and this star at the bottom will turn gold and then they can print out a gold star certificate of achievement. Would you like to exit this program? Goodbye. Now, as we talked about earlier, the assignment of the courses is often made to the class by the site administrator based on our recommended courses by grade. In this teacher's resource course, under course product tours, we have a list of recommended courses by grade. View this document to help you understand our courses. Also, under course product tours, we have videos that give a quick overview of each course and how it works. View the product tour of any course that might be appropriate to your class. We have a user guide and lesson plans for each one of the courses. Look over these documents for information about the lesson and standards for the course. Now certainly you should try each course to become familiar with the course. Now I'm going to switch to a student account. Now I've switched to a student account. You'll notice that there is no brown bar at the top. Probably the best way to find out if a course is appropriate for a student is to start them with our pretest and post test. The pretest post-test button can be found on the contents screen or menu of each of the courses. Usually these are a two minute timed multiple choice test. This is a test of your knowledge. Short A sound. Designed to determine if the student knows the material covered in the course. Short A sound. Short A sound. Long A sound. Long A sound. If you find that a student is just guessing and randomly picking answers, then consider trying a lower level course. If a student scores very high on the test, consider moving them to a higher level course. These tests also show a benchmark for determining that a student has mastered the material. A low score at the beginning of the year and a high score 
at the end of the year or when the student has completed the course shows that the course has been effective. Now I'm going to exit this. Would you like to exit this program? Goodbye. And we'll go back over to the teacher account. To view the results of the pretest and post test for your class, sign in using your teacher account. Click on the course and then click on Teacher and Admins button. And then click on Student Management and then click on Class Test Report. This will show the students in the class and the results of their test. Now you can see here that we have no results right now. You can also click on details to get a detailed report for each one of the students. From the student management screen, you can also click on class and student settings and test locks and features. I recommend that you click on lock post test until you are ready for your students to complete the post test. To get a good benchmark, it is important that students complete the pretest early. Since these tests are two minutes long, I generally suggest asking your students to complete three or four tests in the first session. Then in the next session, they should complete the remaining test. Once they complete the pretest, the results cannot be changed. When they start the post test, only the last post test will be saved so they can repeat the post-test and improve the results. We're going to go back to the teacher screen. Now, earlier I talked to you about the add subclass. So the idea of this button is to help you work with different students with different abilities. So we can click on add subclass and I can type in a name. You want to make it something that's not offensive. So we can assign one course to this because I want only this one course for this student. So we're going to give them letters and numbers. And then we would scroll down and find the student that uh, needs that course and click on create. And then now we can scroll down and you can see we have our first grade group two and first grade group three with different courses. So when the students start up Superstar Online, those would be the only courses that they would see, depending on which group they're in. So this is a very easy and wonderful way of creating subclasses for different students for different needs.